The evolution of the Chevrolet Blazer has an interesting route, to say the least, from a large military vehicle to a very popular SUV in the 80s, then abruptly discontinued, and more recently, a modern SUV with a lot of technology on board. Let's get to know the story of the Chevy Blazer. The Chevy Blazer was created as a result of strong and unexpected competition from Ford with the Branco model. Seeing the success that Branco was having, Chevy engineers needed a new model, so they took an existing frame, built a new body on it and gave it a good name, the Chevy K5 Blazer. It entered the 4x4 utility vehicle market in 1969, being built on a full-size pickup chassis, eventually outselling the Branco. It had a removable fiberglass roof and extra comfort and convenience options like air conditioning and cruise control made it a favorite. Initially, the Blazer only had four-wheel drive and three different engines, a 155-horsepower 4.1-liter inline-six, a 200-horsepower 5-liter V8, and a 255-horsepower 5.7-liter V8. The latter reached 0 to 60 kilometers an hour in 11 seconds, making it the fastest vehicle in this category. Two-wheel drive versions were added for the 1970 model year, along with the 4.8-liter inline-six engine option. The second-generation Blazer was introduced in 1973, being longer than the first version. At the same time, it had a new design with more rounded shapes. In 1976, the new Blazer came with a fixed steel roof over the front passenger compartment, meaning only the rear passengers enjoyed the open-air experience. The new roof design allowed Chevy to introduce the camping-friendly Blazer Chalet in 1977. This option was very rare from the factory and included a built-in camper unit behind the front passenger area. Engine options included the original 4.1-liter inline-six as a standard until 1984. If until now Chevrolet made the Blazer SUV bigger and bigger, in 1983 it entered the compact SUV market with the first-generation compact SUV, the S10. Unlike its big brother, the S10 Blazer did not have a removable top and only came as a two-door version until 1991, when the four-door version was introduced. In terms of engines, it offered a basic four-cylinder 2-liter engine with 83 horsepower and optionally a 2.8-liter V6 with 110 horsepower and a 2.2-liter diesel engine. The new era of the Blazer Compact SUV continued with the next model in 1995, which was now simply called a Chevrolet Blazer. It came in three- or five-door body styles and was named Truck of the Year due to its rounded, modern style and generous interior space. The exterior design was very elegant, with headlights separated from the indicators by a chrome bar and a simpler front fascia. The interior was very simple, with leather upholstery and an option for velour. The dashboard was tilted towards the driver, and the buttons for 4x4 system were noticeable. Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive auto, and 4x4 lock. Under the hood, we find the same 4.3-liter V6 engine associated with a four-speed automatic gearbox or a five-speed manual. And when it seems that the Blazer was starting to gain ground on the SUV market, it disappeared in 2005 without explanation. But no one knew that, in fact, Chevy was taking notes to relaunch strongly as it did the first time. So they came back after a 14-year hiatus, launching a new Blazer. The boldest and the most progressive expression of the Chevrolet crossover design theme was how the new Blazer was introduced, featuring styling cues borrowed from the Chevrolet Camaro. Thanks to the narrow headlights, the new Blazer had an imposing, aggressive appearance, and the honeycomb grille and the lines on the hood perfectly completed this look. The interior also looked good, with round vents, chrome elements, and lots of technology. Under the hood, the base model Blazer featured a 193-horsepower 2.5-liter Ecotec LCV four-cylinder engine and an optional 305-horsepower 3.6-liter LG XV6. In 2022, Chevrolet introduced a facelift version for the Blazer SUV model. On the outside, the Blazer received LED headlights, a front fascia with a slightly modified grille, and on the inside, the Americans put a digital instrument panel and a 10-inch touchscreen. As for the technical part, the new Chevrolet Blazer gives up the 2.5-liter engine and instead will have two options, 2-liter and 3.6-liter. Chevrolet also introduced an electric version for the new Blazer. 
the Blazer EV received aerodynamic side skirts, LED headlights, a new front fascia and a trunk that opens automatically when you approach it. Inside, Chevrolet has installed a digital instrument panel with an 11-inch screen and a multimedia system with a huge 17.7-inch display. Under the hood, the new Chevrolet Blazer EV can be configured with front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, or all-wheel drive. The basic version, the Blazer EV1 LT, comes with front-wheel drive and a range of up to 398 kilometers. In the case of the Blazer EV2 LT, front-wheel drive is standard and it can travel up to 472 kilometers. The Blazer EV RS version boasts the longest range of 515 kilometers on a single charge. At the same time, the top Blazer EV SS version comes with standard all-wheel drive and offers 565 HP and 878 Newton meters, being able to travel up to 467 kilometers.